All right, back to Fallout 3 again. And I finally activated it. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message oh, from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. Here we go. Change the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago. I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my... It looks like something bad went down here. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Technically, this means I'm supposed to report her. To tell the truth, I'm supposed to report you being here, too. But I've been getting mighty forgetful in my old age, you know? We've got more than enough trouble without me adding to it. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Okay, follow me. Alright, let's deal with the trouble on the home front.
I mean, it's like, nobody should start shit. I mean, look at me, I'm built like a tank now with this power armor. Uh-oh. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Taylor, stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened, and all the chaos and fighting her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something dangerous. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I guess you can see how bad things are, Doubt. Overseer, I let's go. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't think he's going to be happy to see you. Follow close to me. I'm like, there he is, there, watching us through the window. Not ominous at all. Well then, somebody's about to... Something bad's about to go down now, so somebody not memo. Looks like the security is about to just go in and go in blazes. Visitor, sir. He wanted to see you and, uh, well... Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado, but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault. And so, regrettably, they had to be opposed.
I've spent many nights asking myself exactly that. He certainly didn't tell me before he left. I blame myself, really. I should have known better than to let him enter our home in the first place. He certainly showed his true colors in the end. Were he raised in the cleanliness of our vault, perhaps your father would have shown more dedication to the important things in life. Just as well that he left. We mustn't let humanity's last pure specimens be sullied with his type. No, but he didn't risk bringing you out into it either. You have to wonder, is that why he left you behind? He wanted to know you were someplace safe? And then, like a fool, you squandered the greatest gift he ever left you. He didn't leave me any choice. I just don't know. Don't they realize how dangerous it is out there? But instead, they would throw away the safety of the vault's isolation just to follow in your footsteps. I can't allow them to do that to themselves or to the rest of us. To fix what you... Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? Damn it! I told them I won't let this degenerate into violence again! The vault simply can't take the instability anymore! But maybe you're right. They simply can't stand the pressure anymore. And now the purity and perfection of my vault is crumbling all around me! And you expect me to believe that the only way to do that is to let them travel out in the wastes and mingle with those savages? I suppose it would allow them to stay alive, and we could still keep the vault as our safe haven. But it'd require a new type of leader. And I know only one person with the proper attitude to do that. I'll inform my daughter Amata that she is the new overseer. Effective immediately. Oh. There's not much I could do to stop it. If you check his terminal, radio contact from the Enclave. That's why he also doesn't want to open the vault. To be honest, he's right not to trust the Enclave. Hey there! I can go find a modder now. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. By the way, I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid a modder and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else, but I think he read it on the security terminal. Gotta go. Hey, dog boots here. Alright, let's go find a model. Long here anymore. Why won't you just leave us alone? We've done enough damage. Hey, what's the word? I'll start a gang, of course. Hey, play your. Well, they ain't. Gotta go. Amata? Everyone, listen closely. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, 
and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm Look sure the there teacher. are people waiting to congratulate you. Yeah. I... I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. A bad feeling there are still so many things to repair, and a lot of bad feelings to mend. Some people still blame you for what happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if... We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you, to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So... Why won't you just leave us alone? We've done enough, damn it! I tried to leave. This ending though, or telling you to leave forever, is also a reference to the ending of Fallout. Whoa. First Fallout. Where you're also told to leave forever. And I'll leave it to Fallout too. Oh fuck you, Shan. It's a shame you've got to go, but you'll do okay out there. I'm sure. Come on, dog meat. Let's close up shop. I got a whole sense of deja vu there. Right then. I'm officially done with all the side quests now. Like the marked ones, those ones I have like the mission started side quests that aren't DLC based. For now, and take us time. We finally took on the pit. So back to Fort Constantine, where we'll head up the the train tunnel, and then we'll do the pit later. Yeah.